So the year is late 1973, uh, maybe early 74, and the way I've always heard the story told from my mom is that she was in the, her university library at the University of Tabriz, which is in northwestern Iran, um, and she was looking for a name for her soon-to-be-born son, yours truly. I don't know how much of the story is true or if such things as a name dictionary uh, in Zoroastrian actually exist, but this is the way my mom has always told me the story. So apparently she finds this old dictionary. It's actually not a name dictionary, but a, a dictionary of old words um, from way back when in Iran, about 2,500 years ago, when Zoroastrianism was the religion of the day and not Islam. Um, and um, fire worshipping was um, what most people did. So Zoroastrianism is part of Iranian culture. There's our Persian New Year and um, there's a lot of Iranian culture that dates back to those times. So anyway, uh, there she is in the library looking for a name and she finds one called Jabiz, which is actually the way my mom pronounces it is Jabiz. And Jabiz uh, it sounds weird for me to pronounce it that way because I've gotten so used to Jabiz, but um, it apparently means flame, the, the flame of the fire. And like I said, Zoroastrianism is a fire-worshipping religion, so fire was the main kind of part of the worship. Um, but actually, I guess it doesn't mean flame. It actually means the essence of the flame, the unspeakable part that makes the fire, that makes the flame grow, that makes it kind of stay lit. So there you have it. That's my name uh, in a nutshell, and it's pronounced Jabiz, and it means the essence of the flame in Zoroastrian that was found in an old word dictionary way back somewhere in 1973. And to this day, I've never met another Jabiz or Jabiz, and even in Iran, when I tell people my name, no one has ever heard of it. So. I guess the essence of the flame actually is pretty unique. Thanks, Mom, for a pretty cool name.